it just felt like something was following me up the stairs. Hey spirits, are you with me? Tell me you're here, give me a sign. I was asking for a sign and I just got a sign. <laughs> what the hell dude, something just touched my hand. I'm Mo Sarji. <laughs> That's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns to, hide right now. to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions. Those ghosts, your spirits, would tell her, build this, build this. To fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Ah, ah! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, Tom, my boy! Live a little. What's up, sergeants? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with a good friend of mine, Jody. What's up, Jody? So Jody called me up earlier, he was doing a Scaranoia video on his channel and he's like, yo, Scaranoia led me to this place. And this place is a really cool, what's it called, it's like an inn? This is the Marador Bed and Breakfast and it's super haunted. All right, so it's a bed and breakfast, it's super haunted. We have it ultra ourselves tonight. How the hell did you manage to do that? One of my best friends owns the place. Okay. Yeah, and I told her about you, she actually checked you out and she was like, yeah, I want him here. So. All right, so I'm gonna leave their link down below. They're giving us content, guys. It's a really creepy place, look at this. Look at that tower. Can you go up to that tower? You can almost get up to that tower. Ooh. Yeah. That tower looks like it's holding some secrets, you guys. So, Omar is not with me today because he was tired and he had to, had to edit some videos, which is why I came out here. And uh, Jody's actually like hooking this up today through his friend. So really, I, I do want you guys to go down to the link below. If you want to come here, you can actually, what, rent rooms here? Yeah, you can stay the night here, man. They got three different rooms that are uh, pretty banger and uh, awesome. It's an awesome breakfast for you in the morning. Ooh, this is in Brooksville, by the way. Brooksville here in Florida, you guys. Man, look at this thing. Okay, so before I go inside, I haven't gone in yet. I haven't checked out the place yet. I just went into one part to put my bag, but I literally did not go in anywhere. So my reactions are gonna be all genuine reactions. You guys are gonna see me walk through this place. Keep your eyes wide open. Um, he's saying he had a lot of paranormal stuff happen, yeah. and, it's, and it's still kind of early too. It's not even that late. It, it's yeah. But uh, he's saying he had some paranormal happen here today, and I showed up now. So hoping Tom, my boy, followed us over here. You guys know that piece of shit, Tom, my boy. Let's go inside and see what we can see. Hey, that tower right there, I can see through the window. There's like a big chandelier in there. It's funny, I didn't want to say it while you were filming because I know people are about their interests, but like when you were filming that way, like no clickbait, I thought I seen somebody walk by that window. Really? You know what's funny, when I was driving up here, I thought I seen someone standing in the window, but you were down here. You were down here. Wait, there's yeah. no one else? Yeah. There's no one else here? No. Just you? Yeah. Okay. At that time when you pulled up, yeah, it was just me. Okay. Let's go inside and check this place out. All right, so Jody's daring me to go in here alone. He's gonna actually wait right here. Right here. <laughs> go, by the way, guys, go go give him a, a hello on his channel. I'm gonna put his link down below for hooking this place up. All right, whoa, all right, look at this. Okay, so I did walk into this place and I put my bag right there. I've got all my gear, my night vision stuff. Oh my God, look at this place. I feel like I've gone back in time. Mm, it smells really good too. So sergeants, this is the type of content that I'd be pumping out from Florida, man. Look at this, old historic haunted houses. Wow. It's actually an inn, not a house. I, I said it was a house, but it's actually an inn. So supposedly some paranormal activity happens in this room. What I'm thinking of doing is showing you guys the house from top to bottom, showing off everything. Whether we catch something, I don't know, we might. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything paranormal wise. Like I'm not gonna investigate it as a paranormal video until later on at the end of the video and then probably switch over to night vision to see um, if we can catch anything because we're actually allowed to turn off all the lights. Hey, they got a coffee machine, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and check this place out. I'm so used to abandoned houses that it takes getting used to going into places like this. Look at this. Look at this old stove. It's absolutely gorgeous. Whoa, that chandelier. Not gonna lie, like I'm not just saying that because of Jody's friend, but this place is mint. Like it's clean, especially for a house like this. They got an old, <laughs> this is gorgeous. Unbelievable. So this area right here looks like it's one of those areas where 
the guests that come in and sleep in this place can just hang out here. Keep in mind, it is like a bed and breakfast place, but no one's here today because we're doing a video. Look at this bedroom. This gives me some really paranormal vibes. Now, oh, what oh, the hell was that? Something just moved there. Pretty sure I got the count of that on the camera. I'm gonna replay that and increase the audio. I, I caught something just moving here on this table. Really paranormal vibes. Now, oh, what oh, the hell was that? Man, I just walked in here, spirits. I was trying to say from what I'm told that this place has a bunch of spirits um, according to guests that stay here. They talk about paranormal stuff that occurs in this place and nothing evil. From what I'm being told is that they're friendly ghosts. Wow, this is beautiful. Whoa, I gotta come up here someday with my wife and spend the night in this place. It'd be awesome. So this is, I guess, one of the, I don't know if this is the biggest bedroom. I really don't know too much about the history of this place. Um, literally, like, like I said, Jody just called me and Omar. And he's like, you guys gotta come here now. And I was like, able to come because I had nothing to do, but Omar had to edit a video. Let's go in this area over here and see what we can find. Oh my God, I love this so much, you guys. Oh, it smells so good, it smells like popcorn. A mixture of candy and caramel. Okay, it really does smell that like that. <laughs> they must have some good candles in here. Look at this old antique chair. Unbelievable. I wonder if these are the original ceilings in this place. All right, I'm just gonna keep rolling through. Try to keep it unedited. Just showing this place off before I begin the paranormal. Sometimes when I keep things uncut, you know, we capture a lot of cool things on camera. Holy moly, this is gorgeous. I'm one of those people that goes to like hotels and inns and I'm really big on cleanliness. Like if you come to my house, you can eat off my floors. So if it's not a clean place, I get really grossed out. What the hell's following me up the stairs? It just felt like something was following me up the stairs. Oh. Hello? I heard something down there. Jody's outside, like I said. He's sitting on his phone on the porch. This is gorgeous. Look at that big chandelier high up there. Really high ceilings. Damn. I'm kind of jealous that I'm not sleeping here for the night, you guys. Very beautiful bathroom over here. They did a good job with this place. Woo! There's a weird gust of wind that just passed me. What the hell? What's going? It was just over here. <gasps> oh, why is it so cold over here all of a sudden? Right here. Warm over here. Oh, really warm over here. But right here, it's cold. Are there any spirits in here? You want to talk to me? You want to... Say something to the camera's audio. Whoa. So that's why we can't go up to the third part of the tower because there actually is, it's just a really high tower. But there is no third floor. I think this is it for the upper floors. Whoa, this is a beautiful room. Unbelievable. Are there any spirits sleeping in this room? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Look at this. Is this what I think it is? Oh, what the? Who's here? Something, I heard a footstep behind me just now. Ghost of this room, are you here? What the hell was that? That came from over there. So this thing caught my attention. A really old mirror. Wow. This thing, if this thing actually is old and dated, then it must have 
something. It must have seen a lot too, because you guys know mirrors are like portals to the other world. Whoa, no way this is a bathroom. Oh my God. There's a fireplace in the bathroom in here. Oh. Another gust of wind. It just passed me. It can't be the air conditioning. There's literally nothing up here. That's not, that's a fan to suck the smelly, poopy smell out. Look at this. This is so cool, you guys. Whoa. What a beautiful place. Yes, it is haunted, but sometimes haunted places that are not like evil haunted, but friendly haunted, which might be what I'm feeling right now. Like I'm feeling the energy. I'm feeling something in here. Some gust, weird gust of coldness passing me. Um, I would love to sleep in places like this. You guys should definitely come to this place. Whoa, bathtub. This bathtub is amazing. Are there any spirits in this room right now? Talk to me. I'm kind of like hooked on this mirror. Hey, spirits. Are you with me? Talk to me. Tell me you're here. Give me a sign. Let me turn off the lights, you guys. Maybe if I dim down the light a little bit. Oh, that's way too dark. Hold on a sec. Give me a sign that you're here. Imagine like seeing something into the other world with this. How crazy would that be? Nah. No way. Holy shit, I just got a sign. I was asking for a sign and I just got a sign. I seen it through the mirror. As I was looking in the mirror, I seen the chandelier start swinging. It literally started swinging as I was looking at it. My camera might have caught it starting to swing. Oh my God. I wonder if Jody experienced this when he was in here. Can you make the lights turn off and on? <gasps> what the hell was that? What the hell was that? Okay, I'm kind of nervous. I don't feel scared, but like it jumped me. Like, like it jump scared me kind of to see the chandelier moving through the mirror. And I wasn't too sure if that was just me shaking the mirror that was making it look like it's moving. That's why I turn around and sure enough, it's actually moving. Okay, there's no one hiding in the closet. What is this room over here? Oh, that's not a, nothing. That's just like an electrical panel. So clearly there's no one here. Maybe I shouldn't have touched that mirror. I'm just gonna leave that right there. Anything with me in here? I can assure you. I am here all by myself. Jody is still downstairs. I wonder if he's. Can I open this? Oh, so ancient. I'm gonna keep that closed. So I've been rolling kind of unedited nonstop. So that coldness that I felt in here earlier is gone now. I was kind of feeling it in this area. I'm not getting that same vibe again. Must have been something that passed through. Must have been whatever made that chandelier move. Let's go downstairs and see if Jody had anything. Oh, oh what the hell? I just seen the light go off and on. I'm pretty sure the camera picked up on that. I can't tell if it was in this room. <gasps> oh my God, that rocking chair is literally moving. Oh my God, I've been rolling unedited for the last eight minutes. I'm pretty sure I caught the lights there. What in the hell? 
It stopped moving now, but it was moving. Oh, what the hell was that? Yo, I just heard a noise. Jody's literally sitting right there. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yo. Please tell me. Scare me, bro. Sorry, but I just got had like a big scare inside. Really? Yeah, come here. So what kind of things have you had happen here tonight? Um, the china was like click clacking against each other in there. The lights were like flickering. Uh, cold okay, was falling flickering. Around. Okay, yeah. I just got lights flickering from this room over here. The swan room? Yes. What? I, I was coming down the stairs and I, I'm, I don't know if the camera caught it. I saw it. Uh -huh. It might have caught it at, in the corners of the camera lens. Right. But as I'm walking in, that rocking chair was rocking all on its own and, I, and i've been filming for like 10 minutes unedited wow like no edit cuts dude no lie i think omar's caught that before i've caught that really that's crazy that you caught it because i've been here a dozen times and it not happened really yeah so i was up upstairs in the, one of the bathrooms right and this gust of wind just like do you hear that upstairs upstairs something upstairs I just, it's a footstep oh, around Anyone up there? Hello? Dude! Where's the, where's the off switch? Is it up here? The switch is right there to your right, bro. Oh, Are you what the hell? Who's up here? Okay, hey, you take that side. Okay. I'll take this side. Yeah. But I caught the chandelier in here moving earlier. So, he'll stand here so nothing moves. I'm gonna go in here. Oh. Was it cold like this when you were in here earlier? No, it wasn't, it wasn't cold at all. Holy shit! Like, that's not normal. No, it wasn't cold at all. So, I got that chandelier uh -huh. moving all on its own. Really? So, here's what happened. I picked up that mirror, that little mirror. It looked weird to me. Yeah. It was flipped over. I was looking through that mirror, kind of like this. Uh -huh. And I'm wondering if this mirror has seen weird shit over the years. So it I'm looking. Like so I'm looking through it, and I see the chandelier through the reflection of the mirror behind me, starting to move, which is what caught my attention to seeing it, and it was Dude, moving. I got the chills. Right <laughs> That's crazy, bro. I'm gonna put this mirror back here, so there's no nobody in here, and we just heard a footstep, and we caught that light literally turning off and on. That gust. I had a gust of cold air in this bathroom as well, and now it's not even here. I don't know if it's like it has anything to do with anything but like this little secret door if you look on the inside of it you can see like old scratch marks like where some what were oh, they doing what the hell like they were just clawing it no seriously this this is new tech in here yeah this is new tech this must have been something else that's original yeah so it's like they modernized some things but look at all these scratch marks on the wood back here it's like someone legit actually was like trying to claw their way out of here because look at this, the lock crazy. is on the outside. Yeah. Imagine like putting someone in there and locking them. Which now it won't seem to do. Yeah. Okay, so but what made those lights turn off and on like that? I've caught it too before, man. It's crazy. The switch is up here, and you guys see me coming upstairs. And that light started like going off and on. I know you're in here. What's in here? Show yourself. <gasps> hey! Did you close that door? No. Seriously? No, but this, this happened earlier, bro. They do not like this door to be open. Like, no lie, watch. Can you close that door, please? Yo, that door just closed behind me, and I legit thought it was him, so... I don't know what's going on here, but it definitely could be something. Hey, look, look, look. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy shit. It's actually happening. Oh. Bro, that is so spooky. Even the way it opens, it's weird. But I, yeah, I, you were standing back there in the corner. That literally. Okay, now it's just closing. But it was open before. That's weird. Here's what I'm gonna do, you guys. It's freaky, man. It's real freaky. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get my 
K2 meter from downstairs. We're gonna try some EVPs and maybe do some necrophonic and see. You know how you were talking about this earlier? You were like, dude, that area is so creepy. They say that the guy that used to run the railroad tracks used to, he used to get access to this and he would stand up there and watch the people coming into town. On That's the train. creepy. Yeah. Imagine standing up there in the window and just watching people. That's what people said, bro. They were like, man, it was so creepy seeing him look out that tower. So is this it for the entire place? Is there, there's no basement here, right? Uh, there's no basement. There is a secret <clears throat> wall space that nobody can access. Really? Like, they boarded it up for a reason. It makes you wonder why. Oh, wow. Yeah. Where is it? Can I see it? Um, I think that they barricaded it in this closet in here. A secret access, guys. Yeah. This is intriguing. I love how they made the window yeah. here. So, like, oh, you can open wow. those, but you can't go no further. There's, like, a wall built. No, it's locked. Oh, they got a lock now. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's, like, sealed. Well, I mean, there's this stuff in there. All right, it's fine. I don't want to disturb it. That's kind of weird, though. I see it goes under the house and there's some under Oh! What the f*** knocked on that door? Oh, oh, oh. oh, my God. We just got that. We just got that on camera. An actual knock on the door. Hello? Anyone in there? It's locked. It's locked. Like actually locked. Is there anything behind this door? Can you knock again? All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go grab my K2 meter, come back here, see if we get any um, readings on it right by that closet door. We did get a weird knock coming from there. So let's get our stuff right now. All right guys, I got the K2 meter over here. Trying to see. Not getting any readings right now. Spirits, whoever knocked on the door like that, it'd be nice if you just gave me some type of energy reading, something on the K2 meter. <gasps> Oh, oh shit. I just asked it, it'd be nice if it gave me an energy reading and it was like almost instantaneous. I don't feel scared at all. Look at this. Whoa. I would really like to know your name somehow. Can you somehow communicate with me? Oh, that just went straight to red. Oh my God. Holy crap. Are you in this room? Are you on the bed? Am I getting hotter? Am I getting colder? I felt your gust of wind earlier. Was that you? If that was you, can you can you make it cold again? Because it's really hot in here right now. It's like 94 degrees right now, guys. I'm in Florida. Like, it's hot. Oh, something just moved over there. Now look at the K2. Holy shit. Wow. I feel like there's like a secret behind that door right there. Like there must be something back there. Like we got a knock on that door. Oh, what the hell? Dude. Jody. Oh my God. Did you get something? Yeah. So I'm standing here uh -huh. asking for something to happen. That chandelier just made like a ping noise. Mm -hmm. Look what, look at what, what's at the top of the chandelier. <gasps> It's a giant hornet. Dude, I caught that earlier. Really? I caught that. That's a big hornet. Oh my god. Almost like, like it was like a... Uh, sounds weird, but like some kind of sign or something, dude. Yeah. I mean, you don't see hornets that big. No. That's a giant hornet. Like That thing will do some damage. We should possibly like somehow get that out of here. I, I agree. I'm going to try and find something. Oh my god. Yo, hornet, my boy. Chill, dude. Chill. Hey, don't chill. Yo, I'm going to punch you, man. I'm going to punch you. Jesus, that thing is massive. That's a massive hornet. I'm turn my light on so I blind it so this way it doesn't come through here. That is a red hornet. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, in Florida, you guys got some crick. I'm gonna walk out of this room right now. It must have flown in from the outside. So, because we're actually getting a lot of activity inside of this room right here, here's what I'm gonna do. That bee is still there. Honestly, it's not bothering me. As long as it doesn't bother me, we're gonna be good. I'm not gonna have to kill it. But uh, I'm gonna turn off the lights in here and I'm gonna use 
flash photography in here. I haven't done that in a while. Do you guys know when I did that before? I caught a lot of weird things on camera. Let's try some flash photography in here. And I, I'm not gonna be able to record. Oh yeah, it gets dark in here. Would that be? Hopefully this bee doesn't attack me in the dark, man. I'm kind of worried. All right, so I'm gonna cut the camera, start taking some photos, and if I do catch anything, I'll let you guys know. Did you throw something up here? What's that? Did you throw something up here? No. What the f was that? Holy shit. Seriously? No, sir. I was trying to get a cinematic just now, and I'm pretty sure something moved over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna review that clip. All right, you guys, I just finished taking my flash photography in the bedroom and standing over here in the hallway, looking into the actual dining room over there. So let's go ahead and review these footage. Hopefully, I mean, if I don't find nothing, I probably won't even put this whole scene in. Oh, what the fuck is that? What the hell is that? Jody, I just captured something on the photos over here. Something just, like, literally just growled at me inside here. Growled at you? Yeah, I, I don't know. Dude. So when I was upstairs, I heard a growl. Earlier in the in the night, when I was upstairs, I heard a growl. I just caught something on camera. Really? Yeah, you weren't in that room when I was taking photos, were you? No, I, I was just doing five minutes in the closet. He was in that closet. There he is right there. Yo, come here and check this out. So look at this. I'm taking photos, right? Uh-huh. Watch this closely, right? Bright. 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 Who's that? Whoa. Who is that? Dude, you, it's not showing up on my camera, guys. You gotta go watch his video. But seriously, that is the spookiest thing, bro. What is that? I can't even make it out. It looks like a 10-foot figure. Like, you can tell how tall it is because of that table. But what the hell is that? Dude, that, that wasn't you, was it? You weren't, you weren't in there. No. Bro. You weren't in there. No, you weren't no. in there. I was taking photos. Bro, that is insane. I've never seen something like that. Are you wearing red pants? No, black pants. Okay, it's got red on there. Or gray pants, all right. Yeah, he's wearing gray pants, and I'll throw the photo up on there right now. Do you see what the arm looks like? Oh, that's interesting though. That is scary. So I'm going through all the other photos. I didn't catch anything else. This is that one photo I captured some type of figure standing right there. I'm looking at the bedroom photos right now where we had the paranormal stuff happen just now where the hornet is. I didn't get anything in there as well. What the hell is that thing? So that's it for the photos. We caught one thing out of like 60 photos. We caught one thing and it's right there by that lamp. Now it can't be the lamp. There's no way that's the lamp that did that. That's impossible. Some amazing evidence here, but like honestly, what you just caught is probably the best piece of paranormal evidence I've ever seen come out of here. Welcome to the life of Mos Argy. So here, awesome. here, here's what I'm gonna do right now, guys. I'm gonna turn off this camera, record with night vision only. So we're gonna turn off all the lights around the house, which half of them are already off. But we're just gonna use night vision and and continue on this investigation for you guys. This is really awesome. We're capturing a lot here tonight. Switching over to night vision right now. I'm gonna do a couple of things. We're gonna go upstairs where I encountered something near that mirror and the chandelier. We're gonna try the necrophonic there for a good five minutes. And then we're gonna go back down here and try the necrophonic in that room. And then we're actually gonna go, we're actually gonna start off here. Let's start off here first, cause I did capture some weird figure on the photos. So let's go inside of the dining room and see if we can capture something or even communicate with something. Oh my God, it's like a million times scarier right now. So where was that figure standing exactly? It was standing right here and it looked like it was like 10 feet tall because this uh, this table is like probably three feet, three and a half, four feet high. So like it, that thing was huge. What I'm going to do right now is start up the necrophonic and we'll see if it gives us anything. Hey spirits, you want to talk to me? I don't feel an evil presence off of you. I feel like you're not evil. So let me know on the necrophonic. Are you evil? What's your name? Do you know if you've ever gotten word if like the ghosts are female or a male? There are all of them in here. Can I get a name? Can I get a name? Whatever it was that tapped on that closet, can you give me your name? Are you locked in the closet? Oh my god! That just said Mo in the scariest 
in way possible. I thought I said your name. I thought I said something else with it, too. I, dude, I got goosebumps all over me right now. Yeah, your name was clear as day coming through there. Holy shit! Oh, my heart literally just stopped. Oh. Yo, I'm like shivering right now. I'm gonna start this thing back up. Why did you say my name and how did you know my name? <gasps> the closet! It just said the closet! I'm gonna put a replay on that. It literally just said the closet. Is your soul trapped in that closet? I really would like to know your name though. Saying my name doesn't help me at all. Why do you say my name in like the scariest way possible? Oh, that's weird. There's a weird feeling over here just now. I just felt that in my, in my core. I'm like, kind of scared now. I'm gonna walk around the house. Closet again. I just got the closet again. That's twice now. Are you in the closet? Yes or no? Uh, Very simple. Tell me, are you in the closet? Uh, <gasps> oh! Oh! What the hell, dude? Something just touched my hand. Did you touch my hand? Where did Jody go? Spirit, did you touch my hand? Something like touched my hand, my right hand that's holding the camera. What the f was that? Something just grabbed me. What? Something just grabbed me. Dude, something just touched my hand. Are you, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, but something just grabbed me. I said a coldness was walking along with me, and all of a sudden just grabbed me by my shoulder right here. I cannot believe this is happening. So here's the thing. Did you get grabbed too? I got grabbed on the hand that was holding the camera as I was approaching the closet. The necrophonic said closet twice. Twice. I'm walking around with the necrophonic. I'm going to turn it back on over here in this room. Okay. Oh, give us something good. <laughs> Did you touch Jody? Uh, Is that chandelier moving over there? I thought that chandelier was moving for a second. What are you? Why, why is it that when I got close to your closet, you touched my right hand? Bro, I got so scared when you react when you freaked out up here and reacted. I reacted downstairs. Yeah. Because something had just touched my hand, and like not even five seconds later, something touched you. Yes. Yeah, it felt like a like a physical hand. Like it was it was not soft at all. Me, it was more of a, a tap on my knuckle. Did you touch us? What's your name? Talk to us. Are you friendly? I don't think you're evil. I feel I feel kind of like a good vibe from you. That was a weird language that just yeah, was. Never heard that one before. That's strange. Yeah, kind of like yeah. that. Yeah. Like, do you want to go back down to the closet? What the f is touching my hand right now? 
Oh my god, dude. Literally something just brushed up my arm. It just brushed upwards. My oh wow, that was weird. Oh, that is so crazy. I felt it. He said it. Okay, I kind of want to go downstairs now and go back to the closet because I feel like a lot of stuff is happening because of that closet area. Let's go back downstairs, everybody. Spirit, we're coming downstairs and you can touch me. I don't feel like you're evil. Obviously, you're not. Because anyone that comes here, they feel positivity from this ghost. Now, yes, I'm scared because it's a freaking ghost. Even if it's a good ghost, it's still scary. Oh, I'm scared to go back in here, <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> I would sleep in this room though. I might have to rent me a night in this place. Oh, fuck. I'm scared to go near that closet. Are you still with me? Where'd that hornet go? What was that? That wasn't you? No. That wasn't you? No. So what made that noise? Honestly, bro, it sounded like it was in the wall. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like that's I thought it came from in here. What but it sounded like it sounded like something rolling. Oh wow. Yo, there's so much activity here, guys. Unbelievable. Bro, what do you think if you like, what if you spent like a few minutes in the closet with the door closed? Uh, uh, no way. No? No way, Jose. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> I mean, said no two minutes alone. Okay, okay, I'll do it. You can do it? I'll do it. I just hope that right. horn, I'm just worried about that hornet because I can't see it in the dark. And that hornet might be able to see in the darkness. So I'm gonna go in there. He's gonna wait out here, possibly. I don't know where he's gonna yeah, wait. I, I or you can stand, you can stand at case. the door. Yeah, you can stand at the door. And uh, God, I'm getting the craziest vibes. This closet scares me. I'm gonna turn the light on for a sec. Yeah, I'm gonna turn the light on. Dude, I did it just a little bit ago, man, and the hanger started moving. It was crazy. Oh, great. Okay. So, yeah. Good so, time. as I'm walking in, I'm not joking. I feel very strong. It's um, heavy. Heavy feeling yeah. in my head. I'm closing the door. You can turn off the light, though. All right. Oh, shit. Shit. Okay, this, this just got scary. All right, so I might as well turn the necrophonic on in here. I'm in your closet. Do your worst. How do you know my name? What the f was that? What's inside of that closet door? What what tapped in there? Can you tap again for me? Well, two minutes are almost up. I haven't been able to get anything. It's so terrifying in here. Okay, I think. Oh! Oh! It just tapped on the, something. Tapped on the closet once again. What? Something actually just tapped on the closet once again. So uh, I'm gonna make my way out of here now. This is cool and all. This is really cool. <laughs> I don't know how to react right now. When I was like, there, I heard tapping too, bro. I heard like this is more than tapping. This was like a scratch from behind the door. But what's back there? There's nothing back there. To be honest with you, nobody really knows, or else they're not telling anybody. I don't think it's anything like cryptic, but it could be a portal. It could be a portal, a spirit portal for sure. It could be a spirit portal. Yeah, I just, I just heard something right here. It sounded like, hey, are you laying on the bed, spirit? It's hot in here, like boiling hot. Yeah, so, that's weird. So like, earlier, it's cold. It's really hot right here. Yeah, it's boiling, but earlier when I got that gust of cold air, it freaked me out. 
Dude, what? It's like literally a hot pocket right in the middle of the bed. Yeah, it's, That's it's really warm, yeah. That's weird. Something creepy in here, man. You heard something like creepy. Like something you... really, really bizarre. I don't even know how to describe it. Almost sounded like it was like preaching, but EVP sounding, you know, like through frequency. You know, it's funny, because when I was in the closet, I, I don't know if it was my mind playing tricks on me in the dark, dark because when I'm in the dark alone, mm -hmm. my mind would be playing games on me. <laughs> and I thought something like said, hello, like in my ear, in my left ear. I kind of ignored it because I knew I was in the dark. But there is something here, 100%. There's definitely something here. You know what's interesting? Is this what's behind the closet door? Th this door over here? Yeah, but this isn't the one that goes underground, it's the other one. And this one's sealed tight. And it's locked. So wait, underground? Yeah, she told me that it goes underground, like like six feet underground. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah. But it's never been accessed completely. Like they know what it does. They have it on blueprint, but yeah, nobody so, goes there. So no no tenants, like people that rent this in, none of them have ever been like injured. Was that I you? think that might have, yeah, that might have been me saying that. Though. Okay. None of them have ever been injured in this place um, or in any way attacked negatively. Right now, what is that? Okay, that was not me. What is it? Oh, it's that hornet. Oh, is that what it is? It's in the corner. Oh, oh my God, I'm freaking out. I'm it's freaking out. I thought like, somebody was walking up there, bro. Oh my God. It's the hornet. It's over there somewhere in the corner. Are you sure? Uh, I don't see it. I don't see the hornet. I don't know where it is. Mo? I don't think that's the hornet. That's definitely not the hornet. Bro, that's not the hornet. I thought I seen it, but it was probably just an orb. There goes another orb. Oh my god. So we're capturing some strange sounds right now. Sounds like somebody's walking upstairs and Mo's right here. I'm right here. We're the only people here. There it is. I don't see no hornet, bro. It's not the hornet. Keep in mind, guys, we're, we're in the dark. With our own eyes, we can't see anything. I'm gonna sit here. Let's sit here quietly. You're gonna sit right there, huh? Right where the sound's coming from? Hey, Spirit, you want to make that noise again? Spirit, are you here? Yeah, it definitely wasn't the Hornet, because it's not here. And it's not, if it was the Hornet, it's, it would still be going at it. It just all of a sudden stopped. We're going to sit here for a little while, guys. See if we can capture that noise again. That was some good piece of paranormal right there. That what? picture you caught and that is like the most groundbreaking stuff I think I've seen come out of here. I mean, when you're with Mo Sargi, things happen, dude. <laughs> so, I'm so, a haunted person on my own, man. So since you're a Mo and I'm a Joe, would you say that we're bringing the mojo right now? <laughs> <laughs> we're bringing the mojo. <laughs> hey, spirits, you want to bring the mojo? Make that rocking chair move. Make it rock. We heard you walking over here already. Can you come and sit down in that and make it move? Oh. Are you okay? I just seen somebody walk by. No, no, there's no way there's no one there. I just seen a black shadow figure walk by. No, there's no one there. Yeah, I seen something like that earlier. You're kidding me. I actually said it in my video too. You're kidding me. The fact that that um, walking movement noise stopped is interesting. So here's the thing guys, we actually have to leave and end off this video because we actually only had a, a short time limit to this place today.
that's coming from upstairs. That just came from upstairs. I was gonna end the video, but I'm going upstairs right now. I'm gonna keep this unedited, just in case. Something was just walking up here. I don't wanna go up here alone. I'm turning on the lights, I don't care. I don't care. What's here? Talk to me. I'm like playing cat and mouse with a damn spirit. <laughs> like you guys, I'm sure this camera, I know the camera audio on this camera ain't the greatest. Wait, why, why won't these lights turn on? You see anything up there? Oh, uh, there's nothing up here now. It's like playing cat and mouse with a damn ghost. I'm gonna take a quick look over here, guys. What? The walking chair's moving. The walking chair's moving. Bro, hurry up, hurry, hurry, hurry. It's freaking moving, dude. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh yeah, you're right. Very faintly, but it's moving. And when I was up there, were you hearing those noises again? Like this? Dude, it stopped. I want to I want to do another investigation here guys if you want more let me know we actually have to end it and go um, we're given a time limit here we're very gracious for the time that Kayla has given us here I'm gonna leave their link down below if you guys want to rent a room here you can probably do your own little investigation and On that note, smash the like button. If you guys want a part two in this place, I need y'all to smash that like button. Comment. I want to see thousands of comments if you want me to come back here and do a part two. Maybe I'll come back with Omar next time. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram. My link is down below. Um, keep track of all my stories that I'm posting out here while I'm in Florida and in the USA. And maybe I'll come to a town near you and we can meet up. Love you guys. Be you, do you, stay positive, and just love a little. Ah, not again. This game is too difficult. But you know what's not too difficult? Smash mode. Get Smash Mode. Available on Google Play and the App Store.